Hello there and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. We had a bit of an unusual request in the previous episode and um, yeah, one of the viewers requested that they, we should play Scrap Mechanic so I thought why not because the last time I have played this game before and the last time I did uh, was almost two years ago so I thought um, we've done so many episodes with Timberborn already why don't we have a look at something else so yeah this is my world. I probably spent a few months on uh, building this and I remember I built quite a few bases all around and every time I built one I wasn't very happy. So the purpose of this video is going to be to show a few things that I've built in here. Now I do not claim that any of those creations are 100% my idea. I used to watch some other YouTubers back in the day as well and you'll definitely be able to notice that some of these creations might be influenced or maybe even like 90% of it might be someone else's idea. Anyways, let's uh, start with this truck that we have here. Uh, this is my casual uh, sort of uh, off-road uh, roadster that I go around to explore the island and collect resources. So with the uh, number, three, uh, number three, we can launch some potatoes. Uh, we've got a timer there and a couple of... Uh, let's not go there yet. Uh, one thing I've forgotten about this game is all the logic. Um, so yesterday when I logged back into this game, I went through a couple of builds and I could just not remember what different things mean anyways. I've got a few boxes in here. Uh, we've got lots of gas, so we should never really run out of that. A few blocks as well, spare wheels, a bit of extra food and some odd things here as well. At the back we got a spare tire, just in case. It seems we are missing one of the uh, boxes in here. Ooh, not a lot of uh, fuel left in this one, but okay. And lots of paint, I think I must have been doing some blocks. Yeah, that's three blocks, uh, three um, boxes full of um, chemical, not paint. Anyways, let's uh, go in here. So two of, uh, number two is binded to some extra lights and number one closes the doors right so why don't we where shall we go uh, we shall go let's go to our tree house because that's where our base actually is uh, yeah so driving this car isn't too bad it definitely flips if you um, take very uh, sharp corners 100 percent it is mm, it's good overall um Let's get rid of these guys first, real quick. Oh. There you go. Alright, I don't think... Uh, oh yeah, we don't have a refiner in this one. So what we'll do is maybe we'll uh, refine just one of them. Where did the other one disappear? Don't want to leave them on the ground. It is just going to lag out the world. I mean, some of the builds which you'll see in a second. Uh, I just want to make sure we're as clean as we can. Anyways, alright, let's, um, what we shall do is, let's go through, uh, let's be smart about it. Oh, nope, that was not what I wanted to do, but okay. Here we go, we're out of here, see you later. Okay, let's go up from here, uh, let's go to the treehouse first. Um, there's a couple of bases that I've done and Treehouse was I'd say my last one and after I had built the treehouse I thought that hey, this is pretty cool but I now need a garage as well for all my vehicles I think I did have more before but I kind of had to cut them down uh, because of the lag hit as well. It's just, uh, yeah, I wish they would optimize this game a bit more so we could have more creations nearby and, you know, anyways. So this one's gonna be my sort of water base uh, with the little bridge that we have here as well. All right, with sensors and everything. Now, let's just put this car away real quick. Right about there. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, I was gonna have these lovely little gates here with a um, bit of a balcony on top I suppose just in case some of the 
uh, robots and things. I can't even remember what they were called, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, we, we do have this lovely little base here. Uh, but the problem we have is it's not high enough. So my off-roads there, or the everyday car that I use, is, is quite fine, I'd say. That can fit through. But my mining vehicle, which is right about there, uh, that unfortunately does not fit through. So, a bit messy on the outside here. But let's have a look. What do we have? I think here... Oh yeah, we're just pumping some water. Anyways, let's... Uh, Let's jump in. So, to get into our treehouse, got this little uh, elevator here. Give it a second, it will pop the ramp open as well. And up we go. Okay, nice and slow. So yeah, this uh, massive tree, it just seemed like a perfect spot where to uh, build our, our base. Because um, for some of the recipes that we have to make, I remember I was mining the clams here as well so that was just kind of perfect just jump in get the clams come back up and we can already refine things seems a bit of a spare stock of petrol which is always very handy and then we have some batteries as well but okay here's where our monorail is and the mono monorail goes all the way to the farm and it's not the speediest and i don't think it was 100 percent complete but that was probably one of the last projects that i worked on before I sort of parted ways with the uh, scrap mechanic. But okay, I think it is time to go up. We'll uh, try and ride the monorail later. The problem with this one is, because it's a little bit further away, we're gonna have to drive over there or walk over there and maybe we can, uh, yeah, just take the monorail back later. All right, here we go. That's the first of our uh, escalators or elevators, sorry. And here we got a bit of a nicer view, open space, not very safe obviously, but here we go, here's the second lift which is, and here we go, I'll try and zoom out a little bit so we get a better view, no, not really, okay, that's fine. Okay, another scanner, not scanner, what were they called, beacon, yes, there we go, just to, in case I forget where my home is, this is where we go. Uh, wardrobe and dress bot. Nope, that's all good. Do we have something up here as well? No, not yet, but it looks like I was maybe planning to build something. All right, and unfortunately this home that we have is also only half built. Uh, we've got, a, again, almost, what is it, like a 180, not quite the 360 balcony for the views. Lovely little lake. I think there's some warehouses further down there as well. And yeah, that's this was going to be like a bit of a living room. I was going to find some sofas, put a TV in here. And off we go to the kitchen, cover off, um, fridges for the sun shakes, our coffee, cooking station, turn on the radio as well. What's in the fridge? Uh, not much, couple of drinks. Actually, we are pretty thirsty right now. So why don't we just grab one of those? milks there we go Let's have a sip and even though it says to not enter this was going to be our master bedroom but as you can see first of all the ceiling isn't very high maybe we should make this higher as well or should have made it and uh, yeah it's just not quite complete but we can go for a little look around on this side as well and yeah that's where our farm is so why don't we go up again back up here and maybe this way so this is the actually let's go down here this is the express way if I'm a bit too lazy don't want to take the lift this is the faster way okay there we go now and maybe we shall take a look at look at the farm that's pretty much our treehouse base don't really remember where's our where are we producing all sorts of materials oh no that's over there i was looking for that the other day but i just could not find it okay so we got a few quite a few more chests over here with all sorts of crap it seems oh uh, yeah and you seem to be all connected up as well loads of resources and i think it loops back oh no it doesn't it just uh, loops into here and we got a bathtub as well that i still have not installed 
Okay, quite a few uh, thingies here. Oh, oh, no. Ah, the bridge was gone. Alright, I think the night time is approaching. So... And we got a few crates in here as well. Okay, yeah, it is 9 o'clock, so it's gonna be very dark. So what I'll do is, we'll skip the night. Once it's morning, we'll be back to take the monorail across. I think it is pretty much morning now, isn't it? Yep, the light seems to be coming out right now. It is 4 o'clock in the morning and I've brought back the monorail system as well. Now, even though there's lots of buttons here, I think only this one and this one actually function. All right, so let's uh, start heading that way. I think I used to have, or at least wanted to put in some doors as well once it starts moving. It would close the doors first and then start moving. I can't really zoom out much more than this, but uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what we, what we have here. Now looking at the connections, yep, this button isn't connected up to anything. This one was to the engine. Oh yeah, I do remember. I wanted to make it a little bit faster because that is super slow. And I believe the same thing was going to happen on this side. It's not the fastest. Let's put it that way. But it's one of those things that, hey, I need uh, another cup of coffee, but I don't want to die. Whilst I'm getting a coffee, I kind of want to end up or go to the farm or vice versa, go to the, back to the base. So it, it, it works under very specific conditions pretty well, yeah. So, uh, I mean, overall, it's uh, it's kind of lovely and nice, so I don't, I don't mind it at all. And uh, here we are at the approach to uh, enter our farm facility, which is uh, heavily guarded. So once again, as I said at the beginning of this video, a lot of these constructions and designs that you see are not 100% my own designs, and they are either heavily influenced or maybe some uh, uh, little ideas that I've got from other content creators. Or, uh, yeah, basically. Alright, so what we have over here, this is the monorail entrance. I believe this was the door. Yep, we can close this door if it gets very, very spicy outside. And a bit of a cooking station with organized uh, seats and, yeah, seats that we have. Here... This is the brains for our watering system. What do we have in here? Oh, a bit of food. Okay, great. Now, what we shall do first... Okay, perhaps we start the farm process. What is the time? Okay, it's a little bit later than I, what I'd liked, liked it to be. But that's okay. Here's our farm. Little entrance. And I wish I... I have forgotten quite a few things, but... It seems these boxes are going down, so can put these seeds. Oh, that's doing potatoes. Okay, fair enough. And um, what else do we have? No, the rest is probably fine. All right. Now, looking at connections. Uh, do not ask me right now what everything does, but we do have a switch in here. Trust me, I did actually design and build it. I did steal this design probably from someone else. But I, I actually did know what I did set it up my, by myself, is what I'm trying to say, I think. Um, it's just been a very long time and I've forgotten how exactly it's it's been uh, or what everything does in here. Oh, little stuck now. What is it? Oh, that's the watering. Right. But it's definitely, um, yeah, we've got more of these. Maybe we shall. Oh, yeah, you're almost empty. Okay. How about we chuck a few more things, a few more seeds, so we can get a nice, full-looking farm. You're pretty much done with seeds. No more seeds in this one either, and yep. Okay, is that almost done? Right, oh, some more watering cannons. Now, one thing I have to remember, setting up this watering system was a massive pain. I mean, it wasn't too difficult. It was just getting the timing right and how much they shoot and all that. And I think there's been probably a few updates since I've played as well. And when I tested the watering system last night, it seemed to skip a few of the plots, but it's uh, it's not a biggie. All right, here we go. Here's our autonomous farming machine has now stopped running. 
the cannons take aim. And here they go. Did you miss a few? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Oh, now they've run out of water. Oh no. How come you're not getting any water at all? Okay, this is not good. Yep, I think we are gonna have a few dry batches now. Which is a little bit sad. Now, another thing I was trying to figure out yesterday was... Okay, so if I was not happy with how the watering has been done... I cannot find the manual switch to prompt the command for it to start firing again. Yeah, so water is going... No, this is this is for the cannons, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I can't seem to figure this out. They're all going up there, so there must be another switch where I could just um, reset it, I guess. I mean, it's aimed towards there now. Okay, anyways, I'll figure it out some other time, because we're not going to turn this into a series anyway, so... Yeah, just let's imagine it works perfectly. Now, we're done with the farming pot. Normally, I wouldn't even wait and sit here. I just... Um, yeah, set it off and uh, go and mind my own business. So, if this was night time, which I'd typically plant the crops, I would then go out and start farming or doing other things. Oh, I know we have this switch in here. What happens if we press this, actually? Are you gonna reset? I think they are gonna reset. Okay, so we might be able to... Hmm, okay, let's see. Let's have a look at some of the other things that we have as well. I do not know where to start. Uh, this is the command, the command center for all our firing and ammunition. So, maybe we do it this way. Right. Oh. Almost fell down. Let's turn off. No, no, no. Oh dear. No, bring it up. I don't want to let you down just yet. I'm going to turn off the cannons. Does that turn them off? I think it's turned them off. Why are you going down again? I think I might have messed something up. Anyways. Right. I've turned the cannons off. I believe. Yep, they are off now. And uh, essentially what I've done is I've set up on all of the sides cannons that detect if there's anything in front of them. Maybe I should have left it on. Yep, that would have been smarter. Let's do it again. We'll leave them on and bait someone to come a little bit closer. Maybe we can have a live this subject. I think I noticed... Hey, you over there. Oh no. He wasn't strong enough. Uh, yep, there's another one. Come this way. Uh, pretty sure it's all working now, right? Don't let me down. And we shall go up here. Let's see what happens. Okay, and it's done. Oh, we'll run away. And yeah, so this is uh, in case we are a little late to the raid. I mean, the raid only launches when we are nearby anyways, but it's just to help us out, especially with the bigger crops as well that attract uh, some bigger crowds to attack us. So it's definitely very handy. And uh, I've never done a co-op in this game as well. So it's kind of um, all these resources are very precious and I didn't really want to lose any of my beautiful creations, so I wanted to make sure that they are nice and safe as well. Right, so that's the guns around, and here's the brains. So there, it's, uh, yeah, lots of wires that we've set up one at a time, but essentially, I wish I could just, you know, select which ones we display, but uh, let's try and have a look at these ones here. Right, so one set of one gun is controlled by one of those stations, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I could have reduced the amount of components we have in here as well. But, you know, I had resources, so yeah, every gun has their own little, let's call it a CPU, I suppose. And that just turns them on and on and off, on left side, right side, and there we go. 
Okay. What else shall we look? So, um, <laughs> now these lines. I wish I could remember who that YouTuber was, but someone made a really cool autonomous cleaning bot, which I think I'll be able to demonstrate to you after the raid. But essentially, we have a robot in here. This section I designed myself, I believe. That that I did not steal, but with the with how the oh wait a second with how the robot is set up that's definitely uh, influenced very heavily influenced by one of the youtubers i'm really sorry i don't remember the names it's just been a very long time and then all these tracks here as well Esse essentially the uh, autonomous robot goes uh goes around cleans up all these um refine what would you call them they're like the arms of the of those other robots i believe they are different color that's something new they used to be yellow before Anyways, okay, so that drops it down. We'll have a look at it in a little bit once it's uh, night time. What I do want to do now is... Okay, cannons are facing this way now. What happens if we... Uh, did anything happen? Okay, it is watering now. Beautiful. Okay, I think we can leave this for the time being pretty much shown you everything here now all we have left to do right now is to wait for the crops to grow and we're still missing a few okay don't really have the time to figure this out right now so we'll just get rid of all of them right we'll leave you be what's the time right now almost seven was it seven yeah it's seven okay that means the raid's almost gonna be here fun times fun times and what we'll do is let's go back up here we'll wait for the night and we'll be back as soon as the raid is here and the raid is almost here now we've got the raid lights on which indicates that all cannons should be ready just final check ammunition everything should be topped up Let's go on the roof to get a better view. And what did it say? 12 minutes, 10 seconds, 9, any second now. The first raid shouldn't be too crazy difficult. I mean, yes, we have a lot of crops, but we didn't have any high value plants in there. And let's take a look at this. So we've got a few guys over here, 3, 4... Oh, someone's already died on that side. And maybe we'll jump down here just to get a better view. And one left on this side. Okay, he's gone. I still hear someone. Are we not shooting here for some reason? Yes, we are. Okay. Is that everyone? I believe it is. All right, I think it's time. Right, let's do it. It's time to clean up. Alright, light goes off, which means guns should be now disabled. Here goes our little cleaner robot. Oh, let's get a better angle. It's, uh, there we go. Alright. Is it gonna get stuck? I promise you, this is the first time <laughs> it has happened. Of course it's gonna happen when we're trying to make a video. Well, there we go. It's probably most likely because I was dropping it down before and then I pulled it back up. But who knows? Maybe we've found something that needs to be fixed in the in the future in our build here. Anyways, off he goes. Picks up all these little... What do you call them? Like the, the hands of those, those guys, those robots that attacked us. I've even forgotten all the names of different things. That's how long it's been. Uh, there's a few arms over here as well. Okay, we, we'll collect them up. Basically, it will do a couple of loops. It will do the inner circle first. So we'll let it go around. What I'll do is I'll just pick up these guys. I don't think we need any more of those. I don't want to tri uh, trigger the sensor there. And what happens here is... Let me just get a better angle. So once it completes the inner circle, it's going to go to the outer one. Complete the outer circle. Clean it up. And does another one around. Gets here. Goes back into the inner circle. Gets stuck in this little kind of like a arms catcher thing that we have here and once they 
detect that there's something there. Yeah, we'll pick it up, lift it up, and um, yeah, away it goes. All right, actually, what we can do is, is he stuck somewhere? Or is he coming around? I think he's coming around. Okay, there we go. We'll chuck these arms on the way as well. So you can pick them up. Are you... I think he's coming around. Yep. Should be. Just stabilizing. There we go. Alright. Picked up another, another one. Let's try and get a, get a ride as well. And... No. No. Seems we're good. Alright. We should be good. Right. We'll let it go around a little bit. I don't think we care about it too much right now. I'll let them pick up all these arms from here. And then I'll show you the final approach that it does as well when uh, it gets closer to the uh, to the base. Okay, pick up that chunk from there as one of those heads. Uh, did we pick it up? Yes, we did. Alright, that should be all the... Uh, never mind, there's one more here. Okay, this one as well. And then what we'll do is let's um, show you how the final approach works as well. Now, which way do you have to go? Oh, I believe it was this way. Right, let's say it comes from about, about here. Actually, never mind. You probably want to see how he comes from about here and how he takes this corner. It's a slightly trickier corner. Right, stabilize, go. All right. Come on. Unauthorized farming detected. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. All right. Maybe I have to auto manually then reset my farm. Okay, fine. That's okay. Just a few more guys that we can get rid of very easily. Right. So it's uh, very sorry I missed this, but it just made the circle or the turn. And now it's on the a branch to get to those arms. We've got quite a few those kinds of arms in there as well. And what's going to happen once it gets picked up? We've got those refiners over there. So they're going to refine those arms. Let us go up here. Maybe we can get a nicer angle. Oh, number two. There we go. Got stuck. Picked it up. And the light went on, which means the cannons or the guns are now active again. Refiner started working. And all we have to do is make sure that this box is not full. Okay. Now, how much time? Oh. You're not done yet, are you? These ones are. 17 hours. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do another raid then, or maybe not. Well, yeah, that uh, pretty much shows most of the things that I wanted to show you in this farm. I think the only, uh, not just the farm, but in the in the space tour as well. Now, the only thing we didn't really get to get to see was this mining vehicle that we have over here. Oh, are you on the ground? Did I not put you up on? Oh, I guess I didn't. This vehicle over here that I think 90% of it is probably ripped off from someone else that uh, came up with this design, but I really liked it. And essentially what it does is we can maybe take it for a spin, uh, maybe in the future if I do another base video or something like this. But um, yeah, number one, lowers the arms in front, we'll bring it back up. Number two, turns all the drills and the saws on. Number three... Oh, number three does, puts them on an angle here at the front. There we go, angles them down, especially when there's uh, slightly more difficult rocks that we're trying to get into. Four is light, five is horn, and six is kind of like this horn here as well. All right, yeah, so that should be uh, pretty much it when it comes to the base tour. There is one more crazy thing that I built but that will take uh, quite a long time to show off completely. So what I'll do is I'll reverse a little bit and you should be able to see it in a second. I think some of you might have noticed it at the start of the video as well. I was trying my best to hide it, but 
it still popped into the frame and there it is right yeah that's uh, quite a quite a big one that took a, a very painfully long time it doesn't end there and it doesn't does not end over there it just disappears into into the distance it carries on and it was a painful thing to build but maybe we'll look at our that creation at some some other time then anyways this video has been at least the recording has been already pretty long so yeah thank you so much for watching let us know what you think about all the all the things that i've built here and um, i guess we'll see you back in some of our other videos